Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Call of Duty Megablocks review with the SS Motion. So you join us today sadly without Tom because he has not got hold of this set yet, but you do join us with Jonathan who is actually the videographer for Bloxfest 2015 and is going to be hopefully making some content for the SS Motion in the near future. And today he's reviewing the Call of Duty Hovercraft which is item number 06859 is 2,795 pieces, currently retails at £200, and is the very first Call of Duty Signature Series build. Let's take a look. So, as normal, we'll be starting with the figures of this set, and to do so, I'll hand you over to Jonathan. Hi guys, it's great to be here. Okay, so firstly, as you can see, there's four figures. Uh, the first one here is Frost, who, if you remember, is your playable character in the Delta Force from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it's a great little sculpt. Uh, great uh, usual articulation we expect from the Call of Duty figures. Uh, on his chest, there's an American flag that's printed on, which is absolutely brilliant detail for Mega Bloks to include. Um, yeah, a little combat knife, the golden weapon, which is just magical. It's a great <laughs> weapon from multiplayer, so it's not really got any relevance to Frost, but it's a great little Very bonus nice, to be yeah. included, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you got a little ammo pouch and the back pouch, combat vest. All the usuals that you expect from these Call of Duty figures now, such a high quality. It is a very high quality, yeah. You yeah, it's admit. brilliant. Even sort of like the speckled detailing. Exactly, yeah. You've the, got uh, great little the urban desert, desert yeah. camo mix. They are really smart. I've been beyond impressed with Mega Bloks oh, quality of Call of Duty figures so the, far. The stellar, the yeah. brilliant. Okay, so this next guy is Sandman. Now, this is exactly the same as the one from the dome building set. Um, no difference at all. He's still got the little marking on the back of his head. And there goes his ammo pouch. I know. <laughs> uh, he's um, going rogue. But yeah, a painted grenade, which is a great little bonus. American flag printed on again, which is brilliant. Uh, painted combat knife yeah, again. This really nice. It's such a great little painted mix of accessories. You know, people love these painted weapons. And you can see why. They're just brilliant. Yeah, the, even the even the little grenade yeah, there, it does look really yeah, nice. Printed. Exactly. Yeah, okay. But on his back of his head, you've got a little skull, a little black skull on a red yeah. circle. He doesn't actually have that in-game, but it's a cool little bonus that Mega have included. Does he have that in the Dome Battleground as well? He does, yes. Yeah. It's exactly the same as the Dome figure. It's, it's very brilliant. nice. Uh, and he even comes with a great little weapon. You know, you've got this little silver assault rifle, removable silencer. The whole weapon's customizable. The barrel, stock, ammo mag all come out. It's brilliant. No yeah, complex. they are really nice. Uh, they, they've done an incredible design uh, making these weapons so they're all customizable, especially the sliding in clip. Yeah. Just just works great. And you can it? even add a scope to them if you have them. You know, yeah. you can put a scope on there. And you well, as it. we see from the uh, sniper, sniper rifle. rifle. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's brilliant. Scope. It's yeah, brilliant. they are fantastic weapons. Okay, so this guy is uh, unnamed, but he's meant to be the pilot of the whole hovercraft. Uh, Gold Desert Eagle there is his weapon, which I is took, brilliant. I took a... Uh, a lot of interest in this weapon. It looks really nice. Yeah, it, it is magical. The grip, it's got a good two tone with the black and gold mm. over it. It's brilliant. Uh, so this guy, it's, it's he's a little bit basic, but he's the pilot, so I guess he's not seeing combat action. Uh, no combat vest or like little pouches or anything for the guy. He's just in his bog standard outfit, but it does match the game. So yeah. Um... Relating to the game, would he have any kind of command or would, like, would he have any stripes or any kind of hat or anything well, like that? Well, in, when I was looking at the uh, crew for the hovercraft, mostly they were like um, green air crew mm. things, so like helmets with microphones on and stuff like that. But then, like I say, the game has him exactly as pictured with the figure, so Mega yeah, didn't well. do wrong. No. I think it's more of the game being a bit dodgy, but maybe some military expert out there can correct me. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I'm talking about a di another crew guy, yeah. I don't know. But that's well, what if, I saw. <laughs> if, if you if you know the exact uh, reason for this, then by by all means, tell us in the comments. Yeah, We'd love to know. Great. All right, so uh, we've got the final figure here. Yes, yeah, so this guy again a little odd because the other guys are in urban camo. This guy's like some little unique guy with jungle pants on and some dark grey top. No name again, but I guess he's just some sort of officer with the little cap on and shades. But he comes with pouches and a combat vest, which are my favourite things. I, I love the combat vest. Yeah. It's so brilliant. I especially like it when the figures do actually come with shades, because honestly, the eyes can be messed up <laughs> yeah. a little bit. They can sometimes be yeah, cross-eyed, things like that. They can be, uh, but I, I don't know. Like When you get so many of these shades, yeah. and like yeah. you've got an army of shades, guys, it just looks a bit odd. Yeah, so. the, there's, there's pros and cons, <laughs> isn't there? But yeah, another very nice figure, and he also comes with a weapon as well. Yeah, which is a silver sniper rifle. Now, if you remember, this was the one that had the... Uh, 
massive ammo drum in the original pictures of Omega. Uh, <laughs> this wasn't included in my set. I don't know if it was missing or what. But as you can see, it's now a bog standard sniper. It looks a lot better. Yeah, it looks a lot better. So it looks like a like a Barre 50 cal sniper yeah. rifle. All removable again. Looks really nice. Yeah, and in the silver, it just looks brilliant. Yeah. So uh, let's let's start with the uh, hovercraft itself. We'll work from the front to the back, and hopefully, we can cover as much as possible. And if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments. We'll be happy to answer. All right. So let's start front to back, and let's see how much of this we can cover. Well, as you can see, it's a massive set straight off the start. You know, you've got this massive skirt piece here. Um, then you've got the massive railings here that the guys can clip on. And just, I mean, look at him. He's just like looking out to sea. You yeah, know? it's pretty majestic. Yeah, he's like, oh, what's over there? <laughs> <laughs> then you've got this, these brilliant little right life raft uh, things that just clip on. They can be pulled off. Oh, there you go. It's just killed it, but there you get the point. Lovely, lovely yeah, attention types. Attention to detail, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, so f the biggest feature at the front really is these fold open ramps. So you fold open these little uh, locks, they keep them in place brilliantly, yeah. and they just fold down. And this allows your troops, your vehicles, whatever you want to and just fold down. These locks are really nice as yeah, well. Yeah, they just pivot. Out. It's brilliant. And they can even twist as well that way in case you don't want to open them all the way. You can just right, twist yeah. it upwards. That's really good. It's, it's a great little thing. And then these ramps are really nicely detailed. Yeah, they? great little paint mix on them. And yeah, well, they started it with Halo having this sort of camo, yeah, the camo random effect. effect. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, they've just took it on with Call of Duty and it works as well. Yeah, well, the vast majority of the parts do have it on this. It's brilliant. So as you can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a nice speckle yeah, in definitely. these ribbed panels here. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And that carries on along the whole rest of the uh, vehicle. Uh, so here you've got the observation tower. And communication, so you got this massive antenna and radar facility. Yeah, a little That's horn, really which is brilliant, a little pivotable horn. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, see that. it's yeah. brilliant. And then you've got some uh, brilliant print work on the top as well. Danger, and yes, this does come off. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah so uh, we'll we'll look inside in a different in a, shot. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, let's talk about those doors for a second. Oh they're yeah, the fantastic. doors. They're magnificent. Yeah. So basically, these are nice bulkhead doors, and they just open up. Even these pivot as well, which is yeah. brilliant. All add into that sort of uh, authenticity. Yeah, and they just close brilliantly. And a figure fits for them, so you can have a figure posed walking out or going in there. It's brilliant. Yeah. And then uh, the, the same applies to the, the other side. Yeah, so uh, this is the uh, driving cabin. I mean, brilliantly, Mega have put in a little reflective strip for the mirror. Yeah, the fact that that's actually reflective is yeah, great. Yeah, that, that's not really been included in previous oh. sets. So that's a brilliant little addition, and I've just killed the radar. <laughs> But it's yeah, very delicate. Yeah, yes. even a radar piece here, and it's brilliant. It's a little pivot. It doesn't pivot all the way like it should. Mm. Um, a little bit of downscaling, but it, it's still a great thing. Then you've got this little light antenna, little spotlights that can move. And you can actually see the, uh, the well, the captain inside. Yeah, yeah, you can see him inside. There's windows all around that guy, so he's got a clear view. Because these things are hard to drive, so he needs to know where he's going. Okay, so firstly, you've got these brilliant printed uh, LCAC, which is Landing Craft uh, Cushioned. That's what this vehicle actually is called. You've got a little designation number 27. Same on this side, which yeah. is brilliant. So inside, this is the observation port. You've got a little control panel with a radar system. And then you have... Some of these printed details are stunning. Then you have this brilliant like GPS scan yeah. of the area, which is just absolutely really nice. brilliant. Yeah. It's... I didn't, that's not a sticker, that's printed, which is just brilliant. The fact that they've incorporated uh, a lot of printed detail is my favourite thing. Uh, as you know, when I do my reviews, stickers bubble, and uh, they repeal, and they just look nasty. So this printed detail is fantastic. As you can see the door from this side, you know, you can just walk right through. It's yeah. brilliant. And then you've even got a walkway into the next compartment, yeah. which I didn't expect. I thought these would be separate units. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's a great thing from Mega. Moving on to the second one now. Okay, so this one is the driver's port. You've got a little driver in there. Dog looks like he's a bit drunk leaning over. <laughs> uh, but you can pull him out. There you go. And then you've got a little command chair as well next I to think him. He took the steering wheel with yeah, him. Yeah, he took the steering wheel with him, but it's okay. You get he the likes point. that steering wheel. It's right. just a little steering wheel, it's yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. special. Uh, and the, that printed detailing again looks fantastic. Yeah, it's brilliant. Another walkway, open a new door again. It's brilliant. Now under this, guys, which is brilliant because it's elevated, they've even fitted in a little ammo box that can slide out. Yeah, now that is fantastic. That look at that. It just perfectly fits into it. Yeah, it's, inside the ammo box. Uh, yeah, you can we'll put, go into detail with yeah. that now as well. Well, you can put anything in it you want, but I put the chains in it. 
So these brilliant chains can be hooked onto it. Yeah, we'll demonstrate. And the, uh, yeah, uh, we'll show you with the tank bit. later. But they can be hooked on, and it, again, it adds to the authenticity. Yeah, yeah it's just these, these aesthetic are, details are just really. These nice. chains are what they use in the military, so it's great that they even included those. Well done, Megan. I mean, seriously. Yeah, let's move on to the next section. Okay, so we're moving on to the next section now. We've got these really nice turbines. Oh yeah, these are brilliant. So these are the little thrust outlets. So this is what directs the hovercraft when it's driving. Yeah, so nice they can tilt. Got black bricks in it as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. They're actually well. This is a black brick, but then this bit is painted on. Uh, yeah. All thanks to Mega. So it's brilliant that they've kept the consistency there. Yeah, really nice. Uh, but yeah, these pivot around. So like when it's like coming into dock, it slows itself down. They're br great that they've even incorporated the pivot piece. It's brilliant. Yeah, fantastic. Brilliant. So let's talk about uh, the outside for a second. Okay. So yeah. So these are like the little troop compartments. Uh, they got a little fold down doors. Uh, we'll go into what's on them later yeah, on. Really nice. But great little hinges. And then on this side, you've got printed decals again. Air intake, do not block. If you're like really silly, you'd get in front of it and you'd probably get blown away. <laughs> not the best idea, but no, you know. That's not, the, not the best idea. <laughs> that's how you would die. Uh, so yeah, we've uh, we've also got this fold down section on the other side. Yeah, these sort of fold nice. down again. These are kind of symmetrical bits, really minus nice. what's on the uh, desks. Yeah. Uh, great little fold downs. You got this little guy on a ladder, two ladders on each side. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, Frost, by the way. So it's not like it's an extra figure. This is just him. Yeah, climbing, yeah. We just pop them in. Just so we can show it up. And then this whole bit follows on, and then you've got the little uh, engine compartments, which are absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, this is fantastic. So, cool. so these Best open features. up like this, which is brilliant. Both sides, and you've got yeah, a little let's pipe. See if I can just. Can you see that? that? Yeah. yeah you yeah, see, you've got a little red pipe. You've got a little engine generator and yeah, all sorts. Really sort. nice detail. That. So this is like the little doors that the engineer would open up and go, "Oh, this needs fixing." <laughs> Yeah, because that's how everyone talks in yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fix that up. Uh, yeah, so, okay, this, so this just looks fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, brilliant. You can pull this off as well. Yeah, if we have a look, yeah. Okay, so if we have a look inside, this is the walkway continued on. Yeah. So the walkway falls through. It doesn't really here. It's just a little ammo storage. You can plug guns yeah, into well, the you wall. don't want to be touching the engine. Well, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to walk into the engine randomly. Right <laughs> so this is the, uh, well, ammo storage, I guess. So you got little grenades, knife, gun. Any guns included in this set can mm. be plugged in there, and any guns from any other Call of Duty set. So there's oh. enough clips to put them all. Yeah, there's plenty. And then if you've not got enough clips, you've even got the holes that you can just plug directly yeah, yeah, into. Yeah. So and uh, they are all, they all come with the set. Yeah, little just pistol, pistol knife, accessories. leftovers. They can clip onto one of the figures if you want, but I thought I'd leave them in there to show it off. Yeah, yeah, it's just nice to add. And then uh, the other side, I'll pull that. Yeah, up. the other the other side is the like maintenance station in the sense. So you've got like the proper tools. So you've got a little drill, uh, a little crowbar. Uh, cutters, radio torch, water a, bottle as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. Little rucksack. Oh, and a sniper scope, which is brilliant. I love these sniper scopes. Yeah, I've never seen one of them before. Yeah, what, um, do they come in any other? It sets? came in the sniper unit pack. Oh, right, uh, yeah, one yeah. of them. I absolutely love it. I use them for Halo, Call of Duty, everything. It's a brilliant little piece. Yeah, fantastic. And then this is one of the best features. Yeah, this is well. brilliant. You've got little pegs that you can plug a guy in, and he actually has a little bench to sit on. And this goes with the same, the opposite side as well. Yeah. You know, a little bench that you can plug them all into. Yeah, just just all... all those things that really add to the yeah, authenticity. They can all it. safely ride out, and they can even jump through this door if they felt like standing <laughs> over everything, or they can go out and walk through that door at the Yeah, front. the walkways are really nice as well. So let's talk about the uh, engines for a second. And the uh, turbines on the back. And the turbines, yeah. yeah. The, okay, uh, go. Okay, so this is the kind of back section of the ship, yeah. or craft, I don't know, ship. Absolutely. <laughs> endless things to talk about here. Um, so this is, these are the turbines. I absolutely love these. So first of all, you've got these little flaps. These are what like you steer with, so it positions the oh, right, yeah, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And then, you know, you can see it's in a massive cage, and you're like, oh, well, the propeller's in there, but I can't touch it. Oh, Wrong. yes, you can. You can spin it. Yeah, so that actually <laughs> spins. That. That's fantastic. You just touch that, just really twist adds it around. To the play for it. Uh, and it's even it's smart as well, because in a sense, it joins into the engine. So it just yeah, looks it does, like yeah. one massive, yeah. you know, the engine twists that. But it does then, look like scaled up this really yeah, good work. It's yeah. absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, and then we've also got more accessories. If yeah, we, you've got a little hammer, little, uh, I don't know, a little socket wrench thing, I think it's meant to be. On this side, you've got a little drill, screwdriver, more tools for fixing stuff, because I guess this thing breaks down a lot judged by how many tools it comes with. <laughs> well, you need to prepare for any occasion. Yeah, a few bullets go in there, you're in trouble. Yeah, well, I, I just think it's fantastic. These these are huge, bulky things. Yeah. There's a lot of um, new parts, like Mega have actually made some Yeah, as far as I know, these recycled are, old stuff. As far as I know, these are completely new parts, yeah, yeah. Uh, which are brilliant. And the propeller inside, though, is the uh, propeller from the Black Hawk. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Call of Duty Ghost helicopter, I believe. But yeah, this part is brilliant. And 
they actually go together really well. And once they're on, they're really sturdy. You can just twist it. You can play about with it how you want. It's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of playability with this set. There's a lot of features. And, oh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just see if we can summarize some of our favorite parts of this set. I'll start. Okay, go. Favorite. All right, so my favorite bit is this engineering bit. It's just magical. You know, you've got the engine bit. You've got a full down ramp again, exactly like the front. And these engines are just brilliant. Even love the little fences. It's just a, such a detailed area. Yeah. My favorite bit. But in particular is this feature, which is absolutely brilliant. For a start, you can fit a tank on it. You can fit two <laughs> tanks yeah. on it. That That's that's uh, one of the good bits. Yeah. Of it. You can fit it, a tank on this thing. You can even put two on, or you can put the uh, Jeeps on, the Humvees. But then even more is with these chains. The you ones can, we uh, had in that box. Yeah, before, yeah. you can plug it into the tank right here. Then you can hook it on to the actual hovercraft base. And that's how they're mounted in reality. They're chained to the... You know, to the ship, so they you don't can chain it the other side. Can't yeah, you can plug well. it in on this side, so you can plug in up to four chains and keep yeah, something. Yeah. And the fact that that can secure itself like that is fantastic. It's, it's absolutely really brilliant. Is. Funnily enough, though, like because of the caterpillar tracks, the tank doesn't actually need it. It's pretty solid. Yeah, well. Uh, but it's a great that they didn't just go. Oh well, you're, you're fine with just keeping the tank there. They actually did put a realistic feature in, which is yeah. absolutely brilliant. I mean, my personal favorite bit is the engineering side of this. The fact that you can take those uh, those actual spinners. And then it goes through into the actual engine room, which you can view through these compartments. Just adds to the detail of this set. It's phenomenal. The fact that this has see-through sections, so you can see the pilot uh, and well, pilot, whatever it is. Yeah, driver, driver sailor. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, whatever it counts as. <laughs> Multitasking. Uh, and yeah, the fact that all of these are removable, like the Ford Unto Dawn reminiscent of, and you can go all the way through, nice little walkways, and this printed detail is phenomenal. Just adds to the real, uh, you know, just the aesthetic changes that they've made that they could have not included, but they did. It yeah. cost them a little more to do, but my... But it pays off. Oh, it's it just looks magnificent. And yeah. for the first Signature Series Call of Duty set, they've really come out strong. Yeah. I mean, you could think like, oh, what could they have done Signature Series in Call of Duty that's that big? Well, this is it. This is perfect. Yeah. I can't um, wait to see what they deliver us this year. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Please be Advanced Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> So this was another Call of Duty Mega Blocks review with the SS Motion. A huge thanks to Jonathan for getting involved and bringing this massive set down for me to review. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content from him in the future. Hopefully, he's got an amazing custom forklift Mega Blocks uh, yeah, thing that set. he's made. It's it looks brilliant. amazing. <laughs> so I'll definitely be reviewing that in the future. And yeah. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. Check out all of Tom's videos as well. They are outstanding quality. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next video.